Carla and I'm with Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center at UNC Chapel Hill. You're watching the GSK Science in the Summer Chemistry is Everywhere series. In these activities, we'll be using everyday materials and ingredients to see how everything we do is connected to science. For today's activity, you'll need a cup of cold water, which I've labeled cold, a cup of warm water, labeled warm, and some glow sticks. This activity will explore chemical reactions. Chemical reactions happen when you mix two different things together to create something new. And they happen all around us all the time. I bet you've even seen one already. If you've ever had milk go bad, seen metal rust, maybe baked a cake or cooked eggs, those are all examples of chemical reactions. Now you might not have known that you were seeing a chemical reaction. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell. So there are some clues that we can look for to tell us when we have a chemical reaction. If you see a color change, if you see bubbles, if you feel heat or see light or even smell something, those are all clues to chemical reactions. So take the milk, for example. When milk goes bad, it smells really bad, right? That smell tells you that it's definitely a chemical reaction. Now I am gonna demonstrate a really cool chemical reaction, and then we're gonna do an even cooler one together. So for my chemical reaction, I'm gonna start with just a cup of water. I'm gonna fill it with my pitcher here. There we go. And to the water, I am going to add a chemical called iodine. Iodine is often used in hospitals to kill bacteria before a patient goes into surgery so that they don't get an infection. You might have even seen it in a doctor's office. Sometimes before you get a shot, they'll kind of clean your arm off with some brownish stuff, again, to kill the bacteria. So we are gonna take the iodine, add it into the water, get a couple drops, just like that. And then, whoo, the wind is taking my cups. All right. Now, take a look at the color here. See how it's kind of an orangey brown? Like it almost looks like sweet tea to me, right? Except we can't drink it because it's part of our experiment and that wouldn't be safe. But it's got that nice sweet tea color. And now we are going to mix the iodine with cornstarch. Cornstarch is often used in cooking, so you might have some in your kitchen right now. It is a white powder, and I'm gonna put some of the cornstarch into this cup just so you can see what it looks like. Come on, cornstarch, there we go. So we have our white cornstarch and our orangey brown iodine. What do you think will happen when we mix the two of them together? Let's test it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Shake that cornstarch out. Then I have to stir. There we go, it's happening! Ta-da! Now it's a beautiful kind of purpley black color, right? So we mix something that was orangey brown with something white and it turned purple! How cool is that? When we mixed the iodine and the cornstarch, we got a chemical reaction. They created something new. And that chemical reaction caused a color change. Now that you've seen me do a chemical reaction, let's try one together. Now ours, instead of causing a color change, is actually gonna light up. So this is when we'll need glow sticks, cold water, and warm water. You should already have your cups filled with water, but I'm gonna fill mine now, so go ahead and do it if you haven't. Here's our cold water into our labeled cup. And then I've got some warm water in my kettle that I'll pour into this cup. All right. Now, some of you have probably used glow sticks before, but if you haven't, let me demonstrate how they work. So save your glow stick and just watch mine. I'm gonna take the glow stick, hold it in both hands, and just bend it until I hear a cracking sound. 
and I like to bend, bend, bend all the way down and then give it a good shake. And it's glowing. So we already have a chemical reaction happening. There are actually two different chemicals inside the glow stick. There's one that sort of fills this whole plastic tube, but there's also a tiny glass tube inside here containing the other chemical. So when we bend the tube, we break the tiny glass one inside. That's actually what the cracking sound you hear is. And when you break the glass tube, it lets out the other chemical so they can mix together, giving us our chemical reaction that produces light. Now we are gonna experiment with our glow sticks just a little bit. So not yet, but in just a minute, we are gonna put one of our glow sticks into cold water and the other one into the warm water. Now everything is the same for the two glow sticks except the temperature of the water. So I'm gonna put them in the water at the same time. The cups are the same with the same amount of water. In an experiment, you only change one thing. And that one thing is called the variable. So the temperature of the water is our variable. And what do you think will happen when we put one glow stick in cold water and one in warm water? See if you can make a prediction really quickly. And then we'll test it out. I'm gonna hold both my glow sticks together so that I break them at the same time. Three, two, one, snap. Hear that nice cracking sound. Let the chemicals mix together. Give them an extra little shake. And now we're gonna put them into the water. Here we go. All right. Now, if you're able to turn off the lights in the room that you're in, I suggest doing that now. It'll help you see the glow sticks a little bit better. I'm outside, so of course I can't turn off my lights. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to see. So go ahead and turn your lights off now if you can. And then I'm gonna take my two cups and hold them up next to each other. And I'm gonna take just a minute to observe. What can I see happening here? Do the glow sticks look different? Does the one in the cold water look different than the one in the warm water? For me, that's the first thing I notice. I see that the warm water glow stick is glowing brighter than the one in the cold water. And you should see the same thing with your glow sticks. Now, why does that happen? How does the warm water make the glow stick glow brighter? We have to remember that inside the glow stick, there's a chemical reaction, right? We mix those two chemicals inside together and they produce light from the chemical reaction. The warm water makes that chemical reaction go faster. So the glow stick looks like it glows brighter. Whereas our cold water actually slows down the chemical reaction. So this glow stick is not as bright. Sometimes when people are done playing with their glow sticks, they'll put them in the freezer and the freezer is so cold that it stops the chemical reaction until you take the glow stick back out and warm it up again. And then it can sometimes glow a little bit more. Kind of makes your glow sticks last longer. Let's review what we learned today. We now know that chemical reactions happen when two different things mix together to create something new. And there are a couple clues that tell us when a chemical reaction is happening. So if you see a color change, like in our first experiment, or light, like in our second experiment, you know you have a chemical reaction. We also saw how the warm water, that warmer temperature, sped up the chemical reaction so that it went faster. All right, thank you so much for experimenting with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you want to try another chemical reaction experiment, try getting some solar paper. Try getting some solar paper to make some beautiful chemical reaction art. Again, my name is Carla and you are watching the GSK Science in the Summer Chemistry is Everywhere series. Thanks for watching.